Welcome back to the show. Boy, this is it. Tension is at a fever pitch. When you work here at NBC, one of the things you do a lot is ride in elevators. And since a lot of sports originated from real life activities, there is no better sport for this building than, of course, elevator races. In fact, this is one of the finest facilities in North America for this sport. Let's now meet the contestants, find out a little bit about them. Your name, ma'am, is? Clara McAllister. Clara, where are you from? Albany, New York. Albany, New York. Do you have, have a lot of experience riding elevators in Albany? Um, yes, some. Uh huh. Are you familiar with the Westinghouse cars? <laughs> no. Okay, well, are you excited? Very much so. Okay, Clara, good luck to you. And your name, sir? Bill Banker. Bill, where are you from? Peekskill, New York. Peekskill, and any elevator experience in your past? Oh, a lot, a lot. Pretty confident, then. I'm an expert. An expert? Yeah. All right. <laughs> this man is an expert at racing elevators. Keep that in mind as the contest proceeds. Uh, and your name, ma'am? Mary Alice Bittner. Mary Alice, where are you from? Savannah, Georgia. And how about Savannah? Elevators down there that you... Oh, uh, many, many. Many elevators. Mm -hmm. All right, terrific. And you were selected pretty much at random, or were you the only three who would play along? <laughs> okay, here are the contestants now. I'm going to read the rules to you, which are extensive, as it turns out. Number one, you will be assigned be assigned an individual elevator corresponding to the number you have on your, uh, whatever you call that party. <laughs> number two, take the elevator that you summons with your finger there from the sixth floor where we are now to the lobby that will be designated as L on your button. <laughs> Get out of the elevator in the lobby, pick up the torch. You must then reboard your own elevator and ride to the ninth floor where you must get your number notarized by staff notary public Gerard Mulligan. And this is Gerard over there. Gerard, are you all set? There's Gerard. Uh, then you reboard the same elevator now and return to the sixth floor. That's here. Come back across the finish line. Now, a few reminders. You are not allowed to ask anyone to hold the elevator for you. You must ride only on your assigned elevator and you must be polite to all other passengers. <laughs> Remember, this race is conducted with normal elevator traffic. Let me quickly show you the route. Here we are here, the start, the three contestants going down to the lobby <laughs> to pick up these torches. They then get back on the cars, up to the ninth floor. Unbelievable, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> And now for uh, uh, standing by down in the lobby to give us uh, his thoughts and perspectives as we grow ever closer to the start of this epic event, NBC sportscaster Bob Costa. Bob? David, the atmosphere down here is incredibly tense. Uh, I'd have to liken it to the scene at the 18th green of a Masters golf tournament. These people have waited patiently through the week-long hype. They've seen the cover story in Sports Illustrated. The experts have made their predictions. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Briefly, what's going to happen down here. As the competitors come off the cars, these lovely young ladies will be waiting to refresh them with a quick drink of water, an opportunity to towel off, and then most importantly, grabbing the official late night torch before heading back onto the elevator. But keep in mind, as David mentioned, the elevator may close while you're grabbing your torch, and so you'll be left down here just like any other chump at 30 Rock. <laughs> Handling the color commentary for us here is NBC security guard Harrison Clear. Harrison, move in a little bit closer here. Don't be bashful. Harrison, you know, I don't know about you, but these babies look to me like they are running in perfect shape. I have not seen machinery handle this smoothly since those two memorable Otis's back in Cleveland. Well, about 95% of the time, they do run smoothly. Let me ask you this. You've been around this elevator game a long time. The old timers, Scruffy, Grabodnik, Izzy Swift, these guys truly were great veterans of the shafts. They loved the game, the elevator game. But these newcomers, to me, it seems like money, money, money. Always the same thing. Well, the, the old timers are very alert in terms of the functioning of the elevators, and they do run properly, you know. Well, there you have it. From Harrison Clear, NBC security guard. The countdown to the starting gun continues. Let's take you back upstairs to Studio 6A and David Letterman. David. All right, thank you very much, Bob Costas, ladies and gentlemen, NBC Sports. And Bob will keep us posted as the race uh, continues. All that's left now to show you what's at stake, this lovely trophy. <laughs> there it is. This is what the contestants are vying for. You got it. And second and third place, of course, receive the Late Night with David Letterman sponges. There you have it right there. 
Uh, if you folks want to line up, uh, Clara McAllister, Bill Banker, Mary Alice Bittner, this... <laughs> Are we all set? On your mark, set. Okay, the race officially underway, of course, now. Uh, we're going to pause for a commercial. Any late-breaking updates, we'll be right back here. Now, let's go down now to the lobby for an update on our elevator race with NBC sportscaster Bob Costas. Bob, how does it look down there now? Well, David, amazingly enough, just as you came to me, contestant number two, Bill, and Mary Alice number three just arrived in the lobby, but they are trailing badly. Contestant number one, Clara, apparently recovering nicely from that nasty between-floors accident which marred her bid in the St. Louis Invitational, has spurted ahead. Do you feel like you have any chance to catch up, Bill? Oh, I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's really going to be tough. I'm going to try, but I don't know what's going to happen. All right, take off, Bill. Get out of here. What about you, Mary Alice? Are you in shape? I mean, this is pretty grueling. I'm in great shape. We've been walking New York for a whole week. You got it. Take off. I won't keep you any longer. David, back up to you. Thank you very much, Bob, and another fine job being turned in down there in the lobby. Good luck, as always, to all our contestants. Uh, so it looks like, who is it? Uh, Clara McAllister is in the lead? Okay, well, good luck to Clara. She wrote a song, and there it went into the closet. Not to think about it, and all of a sudden, history... Excuse me, oh, just a minute. Oh, Speaking please. of yeah. history, uh, Livingston... We... Fantastic. Yeah, apparently, we have a winner. Is this... Uh... Uh... Livingston, we'll get, uh... <laughs> First of all, you're, of course, uh, Clara. That's right. Clara, congratulations. Let me give you this lovely homemade oh, trophy. it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. How, uh, uh, how, how was it? How was the big race? Well, it was tiring. Uh-huh. You, you look exhausted. <laughs> I am. Yeah. It was very, it was lots of fun. Uh -huh. have any, Met have... some very nice people on the elevator. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They were very polite. Any trouble on the ninth floor? Yes. Oh, what happened? Our notarizer wasn't there when I got there. Oh, really? The notary public was not there? No, but he came shortly. Oh, he, so you had to wait on the guy. That's right. Oh, but it's a miserable handicap. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. I don't know where the other people are, though. Well, they're, they're way behind you. What is this? Oh, the, the, let's, here's their official time. Well, this is not a bad time. This is world-class time. Five minutes, ten seconds, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sarah, thank you very much. You're very welcome. I Anytime. appreciate it. You uh, were a, a true champion. You competed marvelously. Thank, thank you so much. Go on up there and have a seat, and we'll get back to you a little later. <laughs> of course, Clara McAllister. Oh, it's a proud moment from uh, Clara was from. Uh... Oh, now here come the. Uh, this would be Bill. Congratulations, Bill. Bill, you're you're in, you're in second place. Congratulations you to you. Much. And here is a. Here's of course we have a lovely sponge for you. Thank you. A very nice job, Bill. Thank you. And you're of course Mary Alice Bittner. Mary Alice, thank, thank you very you so much. much. I'm sorry you didn't win. Oh, sit down, Edison. Thank you.